Hey, Power Users. So in the last episode, we created what's uh, in SQL is called left join. We've matched all the records from one collection. We found all the data from the other collection and we merged those to create one big new collection. And today we will be looking at what's called inner join, the, the join, which we basically do the same thing. This will be our basis, but it will cut the uh, all the records in which the key was not found from the first collection. So from the first collection, we have all the records. We will join the other collection, the cutoff for all the records when our keys were not found. This is my first collection and second collection. We have ID and we have board game ID, which uh, will be the same key. We will be matching those arguments. And just a quick recap of how we did the left join. We created the uh, new collection in which the arguments were one collection plus added columns. This will add column to the uh, collection orders for the temporary record holder. And we filter the arguments from the second collection based on ID, where ID is the same. So we've found the magic part of these uh, records. After that, we ungroup ungroup the temporary record holder collection. So we just had uh, all the collections in there because this we created the record. So we hold the, uh, the record in the collection. And after that, we drop the unnecessary one of the IDs because we found it with both board game ID and ID. We had to cut one of the ID from there. And what we, did, we need to do now is, it's really simple. We need to filter from those from those collections the records without matching par because for one collection we have all the records from other we have all the records but not sorry all the records matching the first collection and we still need to cut loose unnecessary arguments. Let's see how the this present is presented now. We have collection with quantity with names. And as you can see, we have data in three arguments and sorry, in three records. And, and uh, we have no data in our newly created collection for the fourth and fifth argument. The records, I don't know, I keep doing this. And what we need to do now is to take this part of our formula after we've ungrouped all the records and this will be our first argument filter so this all this up to this thing this comma will be our first argument of the filter if you're not familiar with the filter just go to microsoft documentation or uh, wait till i create a, a clip on based on this function this will be the further filter first argument, uh, argument. So it will be the source, as you can see in the here. This is the source. And now we will have to create a logical test, which is basically really simple. We want to we want to secure uh, secure that ID was there. We have to do it in here, not outside our collection and not filter our collection next because we won't have any ID because we will be dropping this ID from here. So we are securing that if board game ID won't match the normal ID because the, in the matching part, the normal ID will be blank. Uh, this will be filtered out and from this uh, on the, the the ID column will be then removed entirely. Let's format the text, make it more visible. As you can see, filter. This is the first argument of the filter. This is the second one. I know this this uh, function looks at first glance it looks really complicated, but it's actually not. If you have any problems, still you can look up first movie with the left join and let's go with the code let's see what happened this is it we have 
instead of five records, we have three. And without the IDs, ID was removed. And all the data is correct. This is how we do join SQL join our Power Apps. This is possible, maybe not the easiest solution compared to SQL, but still, it's, it is doing its job. I hope I helped. If I did, you can subscribe, like, etc. You know the drill. And please can go watch uh, other my other videos. Interesting topic, mostly for Canvas apps. Thanks.